Yeah, I play a lot of Smash. Yeah, I play Smash. I do not play Smash. I sometimes play Super Smash Brothers. Uh, if you're gonna run a Smash tournament, I would say it takes a good amount of effort, but it depends on how much money you're willing to invest, um, how much time you have, and how many people you wanna have in your tournament. I would say if you're just starting one, start off small, um, and then if it turns out well, then you can make tournaments later and expand the number of people in the prize pool. Um, but yeah, you wanna make sure you have a couple months in advance to plan it. Um, and make sure to have more things planned out than you would think, like for example, um, like you, you want to make sure you have like your monitors, your setups, and all that kind of stuff. You want to make sure you have your venue because that's pretty tough depending on how much money you have. Uh, and yeah. I think the hardest part about the, the tournament is like getting everything you need and organizing everybody to make sure they're there. And then actually at the tournament, you need to make sure all the setups are working and there aren't any technical issues and people are getting along with their games. I think I'm really, I, I've really enjoyed that, so I'm really excited to do a lot of that, but it can be a lot of work and a lot of stress. Running tournaments is pretty interesting and fun because you get to meet interesting people, uh, you know, all sorts of different, you know, types of people. Yeah. I think once you do one tournament, it just gets easier from there. Um, you could probably do another tournament of the same size, maybe a few more, and then you start thinking like, okay, if I did a tournament with 24 people, what would it look like with 48 people? Um, what do I need to think about? Now space is more of an issue because the place we did it with 24 wouldn't hold 48. Um, is there another place I could go that would be you know, cheaper? And so that goes back to the venue. Um, and so I think it'd be definitely easier and then as you grow it would become more challenging and you probably find ways to kind of make it interesting for yourself too. I've heard of tournaments where they, they kind of have this novel, like uh, novel trophy, like one tournament had this you know, Super Mario cape, you know, that was like the trophy, which probably wasn't that expensive, but it's like, oh, that's different, that's cool, you know, it's, di it's not just like cash, which is awesome, but um, something a little bit, something a little bit more related to video games. Um, and I think it'd be really fun to, to plan another one. I've attended to, uh, two Super Smash Brothers tournaments. I'm not really good enough to play Super Smash Brothers for money, so I'm just there for fun. Whenever I'm at tournaments, I'm not the best there, but I'm all right. I definitely would attend another one of you guys' Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Tournaments. You're welcome, bro. <laughs>